This video will demonstrate the advanced scoring features in TurboStats Evolution. Be sure to check out our basic live scoring video first to see how to do your basic statistics. This video will showcase how to track statistics by plays, defenses, point guard, also to talk about metrics and all the new calculations we currently use, actual rebound percentage, plus or minus five player combination points, and more. So let's get started here. The first thing I like to talk about is metrics and some of the new calculations now that you're going to be able to see in TurboStats. And metrics, um, if you start, if you do any research now in college in the NBA, metrics are more and more of a factor now for evaluating performance. We have things like usage rate, offensive and defensive rebound percentage, effective shooting and true shooting, which is a better calculation than just field goal percentage. We also have net efficiency, which is our overall number. We spent five years evaluating statistics from over 10,000 college, pro, and high school games to be able to determine a rating system that's easy to use, gives you a number on a 100-point scale so it's easy to follow. And you can also turn that off. You don't have to look at it. And you also have a customizable uh, efficiency rating system. If I click on efficiency here, I'll bring up the calculation worksheet, and you could set any statistic to a plus or minus, whatever number you would like to set your own efficiency system. Okay, so all these features are available now while you're scoring a live game. Let's talk about rebound percentage, which Right now, the, the only rebound numbers you see now are at either total rebounds or a calculated rebound estimated number based on the total rebounds by the offensive and defensive teams in the game divided by the minutes each player played. And it's a number that really isn't very accurate for players who don't play a majority of the minutes. So if your bench players are only playing half the game and you look at estimated rebound percentage, you're not going to see much. Uh, we've proven that out through calculations. So how we do it is, if you right now the player photos are turned on, and I'll turn those off for demonstration. So we'll go into preferences and under um, player stats, I'm going to turn the photos off. And now what you'll see instead is the player uh, rebounds, offensive and defense opportunities, and the number of rebounds that they got. So if I'm entering a shot, let's just say there's a missed shot. And there's a rebound. Now, if you notice, um, if 45 gets the rebound, you'll see he's 1 for 12 offensively. And if I click on his number, he's going to be 2 for 13. Now, everybody else also got a rebound uh, opportunity. And on the defensive side, it was a defensive rebound opportunity. So let's just look at this again. Number 45 is 2 for 13, 1 for 13 on defense. If I have a missed shot by the other team, and 45 gets the rebound, you see he's 2 for 14 for defensive rebound. So this is a great number. It shows the real true um, performance of each player. These are the opportunities they have received in the game, how many rebounds they got. So that's uh, something that nobody else that we know of has tracked. We really kind of created this uh, capability on our own here. So the other thing would be how to turn on, on and off your net rating system. You could go into preferences, and if you want to display net, you'll see that here. Uh, if you hit on summary, it's easy to see. You'll see the net ratings of every player. You could double-click and sort your team or the opponent by net rating to see who's really performing well overall. It's a great quick number to look at during a live event, and you may have sub-players in and out of the game based on their performance rating. But again, you could turn that off. Some coaches don't want to see that. They, they like their own numbers. So just go into preferences to turn on or off net rating, and you'll see we have effective field goal percentage displayed instead. Now let's go over how to enter offensive plays. Uh, through our studies, we found that many coaches um, in college and NBA track the performance of every play they run so that they could make decisions of what plays they want to continue uh, in using and what plays they want to phase out or they need to practice um, and what's working in the current game to be able to make a decision on what to run in a close game down the stretch. So to enter a, a play, you just click on the play button here 
And then to add your own plays, you can click Add Play. You'll get a notepad. You could type in any play you want there. But to select a play during the live scoring, just simply pick the play. Say it's a high pick. You have up to four options. You don't have to choose an option, but if you want to choose option B, who made the shot, okay, um, and who got the assist. And if you look at the events now, and you'll see that that play high pick was entered for that particular shot. If you want to make any changes, you could double click and you could change the play here, say it was option C, and you could even change the location of the shot. Okay, and then just hit close. Okay, and you'll see high pick C was changed. So you could change any shot by double clicking on the play in the, in the event list. Okay, if you could also display your plays to the right here by selecting the button above the opponent, and you can turn them on or off. Now to set your defense, you can just simply click on the option above each team's uh, numbers, and you can set this team for man, and this team may be playing a 2-3 zone. And as you score in the game, 15, made a shot. This is going to be against man now, assisted by 45. You see that the, um, the shot came up with orange. That's what it, all man-to-man -man shots will look like. If it's gray, it'll be against the zone. If there was no defensive set, it'll just be either red or um, green. And we also have the ability to show second chance opportunities, which are shown in pink, and points off turnovers, which are shown in blue. And we'll show you how that works. If there is a turnover, 25 has a steal, turnover by 3. And let's say 25 is going to make a basket now. If you see over here, we have turnover automatically selected. So if I enter the shot here, no assist, you see that it shows up in blue as that was a point off a turnover. If you click on the little uh, refresh button here, you could, you could show all the shots for the whole team at one time as well. Okay, now if you want to do a transition basket, uh, what you do is double click on made or missed and you'll see transition automatically show up. So if it's a transmission, transition basket, made or missed, it's easy to change that. And you'll see down here, you see transition shows up in the, um, in the play for that particular shot. If you want to make any changes, you just hit undo to undo an event. It's very quick. You could undo all the way back to the start of the game. And we've shown you how to make subs, but just to make a sub using Turbo Sub, just click on the team name at the top. And notice, uh, unfortunately, we have two players number 10 on this team. So if this player's going in and 31's going in for 25, and on the other team, we're going to put 5 in for 20. You see how quick it is to make substitutions. So Turbo Sub's a great feature. You could also drag and drop the players into the game as well to make subs. If you notice the ball here, this is to show where, who has, who's the point guard of each team. You could just drag the ball, and now uh, you see 20 is the point guard here, 10 is the point guard. And if I have a made shot for this team, you'll see in the event list we keep track of who is the point guard. And when we go into scouting, we could create a report for offense, defense, and point guard. It'll show the overall team performance with different players running the point. And if you want to view your plays now, or your offensive plays, you could change the team here. You can see all the plays you've run with the options and the rating, the offensive efficiency, effective field goal percentage, how many rebounds you're getting, uh, how many turnovers you're making, uncontested shots. And I'll show you how to enter and score an uncontested shot as well. Yeah, there, if you see there's a C here with an underline, you simply, instead of hitting made, if it's an uncontested made, just click the C, the player, and then that's it. And now you notice that the shot has an underline under it. Those are all your uncontested shots made and missed. Let's see if I have any other ones to show you. I haven't been using that feature, but if you have uncontested miss, click here on the player. We've got the rebound. And if we go back here, we'll see that there's an uncontested miss off a zone. So it's really easy to see from these shot charts, what's been happening, and be able to make game time decisions. A lot of coaches like to look at game factors, so I'm going to show you that as well. If you click factors, you'll see all the game factors for the, each team with a plus or minus rating at the bottom here. So you can really see how your team is faring um, in uh, each category and what needs improvements you need to make. Maybe you're, you're losing the turnover 
game and you, and you want to make some changes or rebounding, you can make some substitutions based on these numbers as the game's going on. It also keeps track of points in the paint, second chance baskets, all that as well on the fly. You could choose that by just turning the factors on at the bottom. We also have plus or minus combination points for each player. If you notice over here, you got minus one for Reggie Jones, number 15. Um, he's got 34. Uh, this guy's got 19. And you can see when players are in the game, how the score has been going, plus or minus, uh, for each player. We also have, for five-player combinations, just click on the plus or minus tab, and you can see the combination of players in the game and what their plus or minus point differential is, along with other statistics as well. If you want to see the other team, just tap that. So we do both teams automatically. All you have to do is make the subs like we did with Turbo Stub, and we will automatically calculate the combination um, statistics for you. Now, we also could track the amount of points given up by each player. Now, I think this is a great number. If a player, a lot of players go for steals and they miss them and it leads to an easy basket for the other team. It doesn't go against that player's statistics. They may get a lot of steals, but they might give up a lot of points because they're trying so much. In order to be able to track that, we have under autocomplete the ability to prompt for defensive points made or missed, um, or give, I'm sorry, defensive points given up for each team. You can also turn off the prompts for all these different statistics as well. So just go under preferences. But now if we, let's just say 42 makes a three-pointer, we could pr get a prompt now for the five players who are on the team, the other team, and if we want to charge two of them for giving up the basket, I'll select those two players there, and I hit done, and you'll notice that their defensive points uh, increment based on what they're giving up in the game. If you want to leave that feature off and just enter it manually, you could just check on a player and then just tap defensive points at the bottom here and then put how many points were scored if it's one player and he'll get the points charged against them. So it's a great way to uh, show your players that you're watching their defensive performance and the things that they need to work on uh, in practice as well. We have shot charts that you could print out at any time going under compile stats. The shot charts for the current game. You could pick either any players from both teams and then just hit on the preview option there and you'll see the color-coded charts could easily be printed out or displayed graphically on the screen. If you have a Windows uh, printer set up, what's great with Windows tablets is that you could print to any printer on your network. So you could print this right from the court to a printer in the coach's office at halftime. Okay, that really gives you a good overview of how the system works and the advanced functionality that's built into this. You have to have the Platinum Edition or higher to see some of these numbers, so look on our website and see which features you're looking for and make sure you purchase the right package. You could always add that in the, in the future as well. We'll give you a new code to unlock the, the software. We also track um, the video information for every event, and I'd like to show you that real quick. If you notice that we have a video um, tag, so you, when you start and stop the video camera up here, um, you really want to start this at the beginning of each period and just let it run the whole period. And let your video uh, camera run the whole period, and then every event will be tagged with the video. So you can just simply take your camera card out of your camcorder, put it in your you know, memory card slot here, or connect your camera with USB, these uh, Windows tablets have a, an SD card, a micro SD, and a USB slot. So you hook your camera up, and then you can go right into uh, the events and see all the three-pointers made, all the plays made by certain players. You could check um, you know, the performance of every play you run by selecting the play, and you can make these videos and produce them very quickly. So after the game's over, you could really make a highlight video or a training video. If you want to tag any event as the game's being scored, just click on this little tag button here, and it will mark the, the tag, either a highlight or just a coaching check, so that you could later produce a video or see any events uh, that you want to look at back on. So let me make one a highlight and hit made and if we look down here you see the H shows up under the tag 
and then now you can go and easily get to that event on video later after the game. So that about wraps up this video. Uh, we're, we're posting other videos on other features, so please check our website. And uh, we have a tech support group, so if you have any specific questions, please contact them. Thank you for watching.